A few days ago, I had the opportunity to demo the Ozone Freeride 2 in the 19 meter. It maxes out at 150 kilograms, and that is exactly where my all-up weight is. Colin and I both demoed the wing, and we both had difficulty launching it. Our first attempts were failures. The wing came up and overshot us, even with the brake check. The wing is spicy, yes, and it's fast. I'm of the opinion that the wing is trimmed out, or that's how it comes stock. The trim range is short, and most of the speed comes from the speed bar. Trimmed in, the wing handles very similarly to other wings I've flown trimmed out, both for takeoff and acrobatics. Now, I'm not going to suggest that the wing is actually trimmed out stock, just that it behaves that way. This was my first attempt. Decent inflation, a lot of brake for that brake check, and yet it still collapses in the front. Here's Colin's first attempt. You can see the wing comes up, and watch where his hands are. His hands are below his shoulders, and the pulleys are much higher. Here's my second attempt little correction to the right, and look at all that brake pressure. I managed to pull it off, but I'm still deep in the brakes. Not sure if I hit some sink there, or if it was just user error. Here's a closer look. Look at that. Look at all that brake. That's gotta be a foot of brake. Still running faster and faster. It looks like I just gave it up there for a minute because I surged forward and then finally buried it again and got off the ground. Here's Colin's second attempt. Beautiful inflation right up ahead, consistent brake pressure, and pulls it off like a pro as usual. Good job, Colin. Now I've only flew this wing for like 10 minutes, so take it all with a grain of salt. But here's some wing overs and rolls that I did and you can see some collapses. Boom, there's one, not enough outside brake. And I go into a second wing over slash roll. That one was fine. About to go into a third, another collapse. Really unusual to experience this with an advanced wing. I've flown 100 hours on a drift air, uh, currently flying a Viper 5. Even cross country wings like the Gin Falcon don't require the amount of outside brake that this wing required which makes me think again that it's acting like it's trimmed out and you can take any wing and beef up the lines and DGAC weight rate it for someone heavy. I mean, I'm 150 kilograms all up weight. You could take a 14 meter wing and beef up the lines and the canopy enough and then classify it for my weight, but I'm never going to get off the ground. So these are just my thoughts it's just my two cents. I'm not a huge fan. Um, the brakes feel mushy. They feel really similar to wings that are trimmed out for launch, um, acrobatics. Um, I, I don't use much outside brake at all often for, you know, your standard wing overs on, on, on some other um, advanced wings. Um, when you go really big for really big wing overs or rolls, um, then yeah, I mean, you're always monitoring outside brake to feel the pressure and you'll add it if necessary. But to have, you know, two out of four of, of my rolls and wing overs um, collapse and have such difficulty launching it, it just makes me suspect of, of uh, the design of the wing. It's not bad. Um, it's just not for me. A shout out to Matt for giving us an opportunity to, uh, to try this wing out. Really appreciate it. And I do hope that you enjoy the wing. Following this, I'm just going to uh, put some different angles of, of uh, the takeoffs, landings, and uh, acro. Nice. Look at that. Damn. Again, 
Wow. Again, two collapses. Probably not. We got him dive. 